So this here is gonna be a video about Satisfactory and why I'm a little bit skeptical about it. Alrighty guys, welcome to another video. Hopefully the video is looking alright. I'm using a new camera here. It is actually one of my old cameras. But um, yeah, I don't know if it works to record like this, but I guess we will find out. So the reason for why I saw Satisfactory in the beginning was pretty much just because I was playing Factorio. So let's start from the beginning here and let's talk about why we actually love Factorio. And the reason I think is because we can organize stuff, we can build it symmetrically, and there's a shit ton of stuff that we can actually do that is just nice and clean, it has a great performance. You can line up like a thousand bells if you want to. It needs a big line, everything just works. Pretty much the whole concept about building a factory is just seeing your whole factory work, seeing the performance, the statistics and all that. And that is exactly what you get with Factorio. You get a big overview of all your factory, you can zoom in, you can zoom out, you can do everything you would ever like to do. You can, a bleh, you can build a gigantic base with trains and everything and that leads me straight into why I'm a little bit skeptical about Satisfactory. So from what I've seen so far about Satisfactory, it's kind of a exploration, survival type of game mixed in with a Factorio kind of mindset about building and automating stuff. And the way I see it, why Factorio is and was so successful is because everything you were able to organize and maximize and just perfect everything. For example, we can take a great example here. Just your little electrical miner in Factorio. You can put it over your ores. Everything is split up into these small squares. So you can line it up perfectly to get all the ores. You can maximize performance and everything is lined up within these squares. So you basically won't have like these really small points where like, oh, this, mi this miner here is off by a millimeter. So it doesn't look perfectly symmetrical. And you guys might think I'm a little bit extreme that I want everything perfect and symmetrical and all that, but that's not really the case. I think most players playing these games like to have stuff symmetrical and perfect. And that's why we are playing the games to begin with. When I first saw Satisfactory, I was blown away. Like, this is gonna be freaking great. But then I thought about it, I watched some gameplay, and then I started thinking, like, it's they, they, it's like the idea from Factorio, but it's mixed with three dimensions, and no, no terraforming, so you're, you're gonna have to plan your stuff around the terrain. And like the most annoying thing that I encountered in Factorio in the beginning was the cliffs. They ruined the shit ton, so I just disabled them in the terrain generation. I don't think they really add anything to the game. Once you start getting like trains and all that, and I don't really think we have trains in Satisfactory. I don't know if they're planned for in the future. There's a lot of things that is amazing about Satisfactory, the way it looks and all that. But I also think you can't really compare it to Factorio because it's trying to stick out so much and be something completely different. Like I want to see huge bases with like overviews and you can see like from a map kind of view, like a drone type of view. You can see your whole factory, you have everything organized and lined up perfectly, calculating performances and like items per second and power and all that and I just, it's it looks so damn messy watching Satisfactory. Like, I don't know all features that they're going to add to Satisfactory, but from what I see from all the gameplay that I've watched, and I actually pre pre I actually pre-ordered the game, but then I watched some gameplay and I thought like, hmm, I better wait a little bit. Maybe buy it in the future, maybe not just pre-order it straight off. I know pre-ordering is not that great anyways, but I thought since this was based on Factorio, it was gonna be this great management and building your great factory and all that. But yeah, it, it, it's taking like kind of a different route and becoming its own thing. I, I guess that can be good in itself, like making a new game that is actually its own thing. Like the, the thing that got me too satisfactory was Factorio, but it's not like 
it's a three-dimensional version of Factorio. It's more like its own thing. It's like one of the reasons why Factorio is so freaking great is because there is a great performance. You can build this giant base and do tens of thousands of items per minute with no lag. You're still at 60 FPS, no issues whatsoever. And I don't see how we're gonna fit like all these belts within that world of Satisfactory. Because it's like, it's so different in three dimensions and the way you move and the cars and the terrain and all that. Like, these games are more about automating and performance and optimizing than they are about exploring. Terrain and all that often just turns out to be annoying. If you ask me, that is. And I like extreme optimization and automation and all that. So really, I think they can... I, I don't go with the game in like a few different directions. I don't they can like completely do their own thing with the survival thing and, and terrain and all that. Or they can try and have the survival thing and all that and maybe do a flat map or something more like a desert or whatever where you're not like running into terrain mountains and all kinds of weird shit all the time oh jesus christ i'm running out of recording time one second and we're back recording i just had to restart the camera everything should be up and running now but really what i wanna like like let's say let's summarize it here in a little bit let's summarize it and so what I'm really worried about is that they're gonna drag in people that love Factorio and then they get into this completely different game that is not the same thing. Like, I know it's not the same thing and we probably don't want the same thing, but we want some of the key ingredients to why Factorio is so great. And I think they've missed those points a little bit when they try to stick out in their own direction. I don't really want to throw shit at anyone or any any game or whatever. So I'm a, of course I'm a little bit worried about how it's all gonna turn out and all that. So what I really think is if you're going to start playing Satisfactory and you came from Factorio, I think you just gotta like understand that it's not gonna be the same numbers and all that and it's gonna be a little bit of a different experience. And um, I think that's the biggest point to take in mind when buying it and playing it, because otherwise I think you're going to be disappointed. So that is why I've been waiting, and that is why I'm a little bit skeptical about the game, because I don't know if I'm going to play it and feel like they've cut my legs off halfway, like from playing Factorio and being able to manage and conquer this entire thing and building a great big base. I don't want to come into this game that wants to be the same thing, but just with like it all feeling clumsy and not as like not as great as Factorio now now it feels like I'm talking about the game being the same game and wanting the, the game to be the same hopefully you guys get what I'm trying to say and that's just basically that they if they're trying to make a game with um automation and factories and all that I think they f miss the key ingredients to why Factorio is so great but of course, it's in beta or alpha or whatever, and um, a lot of stuff is going to change. Maybe they add trains, maybe they add terraforming, who knows? I guess there's only one way to find out, and um, that is to wait for all the patches and see some gameplay and make a decision for ourselves. That is the key point here. If you like it, if you love it, go buy it, go play it. I don't really care. Yeah, this is my take on it. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. So if you like videos like this, feel free to like and subscribe. As always, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.